What's going down everyone? Today we're going to be looking at 1.06, the brand new update from the Outer Worlds. On top of that we'll be digesting some of the gaming news that's surrounding that in the world of that universe and we'll be looking directly what happened for patch notes. I was able to pull everything up. My name is Matt here the MacGyver 7 channel and today we'll be doing some game related news. First and foremost, I kind of wanted to point this out. I thought this was pretty cool. They're going to be doing some exciting new expansions as we kind of bring this in for as far as the universe and then it going around. Totally wanted to highlight this for most people that are definitely into like what's going down in this world. It's not going to stop. They're just going to continue to get better and better and better. Uh, the update did come in pretty large um, for mine. It wasn't anything super crazy like Tropico. A uh, freaking 11 update was like almost two and a half gigs. Uh, this one was roughly about a little under a gig for me, um, so not too shabby for as far as the install and time and copying was a little bit harder. Uh, but we'll be seeing some more of this stuff for as far as the introduction of cooler updates in the near future with guns, more suits, more swords, just more everything, which is pretty cool. So get ready for that for as far as we'll be coming to. And let's go ahead and take a shift and we're gonna be getting past the danger and going into the patch notes that I was able to find for everyone. Figured this was just a really cool intro to see what is going to change and what we're gonna see in the near future. All right, so I'll have these linked below and for situations where you can see 1.41, which is the technical name for this patch note, and I'll have all the general fix. I have a little bit of an easier way to digest this. Um, personally, myself, considering there's that huge freaking just tagger right there, and I'll just scroll down just for an easier format for most people. And we can kind of see where the list goes for as far as that. But my easier way, honestly, is just jumping over here and we're just gonna look at what the UI, the PlayStation is, same exact list. It's a lot easier, formatted, no ads. That's free, everyone, it's cool. Uh, so they fixed the issues for as far as where the audio logs could be played and sometimes in the pause menu. <laughs> That was uh, some situation that was supposed to be paused. Um, on top of that, the first line of what they were doing for the dialogue and sequence wouldn't have audio. Uh, they improved the audio performance for as far as the reducing the instance and the audio dropouts, adjusting the spawn and conductions on some of Gordon's portions of the encounters. Um, also on top of Ada, they could give a out of date information for as far as how you could get um, the Stellar Bay. We kind of come down a little bit for as far as Gordon making the list again for as far as the stuck in the behavior loop. Kind of a bummer. Special delivery and science weapons sometimes can be dropped in the pro improperly and then improves loots for Gordon. So it seems like Gordon's getting a really nice hefty overhaul uh, for as far as that. And fix the issues we're seeing the incorrect uh, pearls of Gordon and the end slide for as far as what ends up with that game. And that DLC portions, so I think it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, making the uh, spacesuit uh, would travel to allow Gordon in his armor. That's pretty sweet, you know what I mean? Gorgon's gonna be going pretty far away with that situation. Uh, on top of the what the fix and the quest for the beacon could be updated properly. Under some circumstances, investigating the lead a uh, spat shack. So it's really crappy save data, sounds like almost. Uh, the duplicated quest for as far as the beacon in the keep the secret but not forgotten. Uh, I guess that wasn't that much of a secret if they're duplicating it now, isn't it? Uh, now looking at what the issues for as far as the Ambrose and it could be permanently stuck in the player's inventory. Man, I'm so glad I waited to play this game. There's, these are like heavy patches because I played it in the beginning and I was really fascinated by it. And then like a whirlwind of other games came up and I was like, I need to get back to this. So this is kind of cool. It's actually seeming pretty fixed. Now it is. So fixed an issue where they in valley text and it appeared for as far as the skill descriptions and improved the text warp for as far as the save and load times and certain text and aspect ratios coming down for as far as the rewards and perks not properly reflecting their weapons the damage stats on the inspect screen they also looked at the max and the tricky abilities for as far as what ended up happening for including on the stun improved the text warp on the weapon seems like a lot of times for the screen in general standpoint i feel like that was a little redundant um added the information to the main menu for as far as the reflect on the dlc uh then it looks like for as far as the indicator in the weapons and in the inventory screen again 
Uh, text colors, damages, colors. We're looking at the inconsistent portions of skills and values under certain circumstances. The UI that's been overhauled so many damn times in this game. On top of uh, Gorgon and the players would permanently get stuck in a lip sync animation throughout the whole portion. <laughs> that sucks. Removing the um, load and in invalid areas. Wow. Uh, fix the Olympus portion station where players could be become stuck. Man, there's a lot of you can get stuck in this game. And fix the portion of employee benefit science weapons that could be utilized to reduce the death in the supernova. So I think that this was really fun for as far as seeing what those patch notes are. And again, I'll have this all linked over here because there might be some direct portions uh, where there's a little bit more dialed in for like the UI fixes. You can kind of see that there's a lot more um, for as far as what's being said directly inside of there. And a little bit more detailed, I feel like, but I just couldn't get rid of that damn cookie and I really didn't want to make it. But everyone, if you are new to the network, you can always like, share, and subscribe. It totally helps me out as a creator and is absolutely free. And if you do today, who knows? Maybe, just maybe, they'll actually fix the Outer Worlds. But I'm guessing there'll be another future update in that portion. So subscribe to find out what happens next. And I'll see you guys and gals in the near future for more game-related news. Stay safe and stay classy, and I'll see you there.